Um, Sam played great, obviously. Hit 10 threes, 10 for 13. Um, take, he took a lot of all great shots, and we just did a good job of finding the, the guy with the high hand. Um, unfortunately, he had to lead the game. Uh, we were trying to get him like to break the record. Um, but, you know, he seemed to be doing fine. What kind of discussions did you guys have during the game? Like, obviously, like, I was saying, you guys are no, no plays for after, obviously, just inching closer to a pretty quick lead. What were you guys talking about? I mean, I said we just screened for him, get him open, and told him to, if he had any daylight, let it fly. Jason, for you at this point in the season, you know, 10 games up in the standings or so, what's the balance for you, you know, continuing to play, staying in that rhythm, and resting and I know you've said in the past Brad wants you to rest a lot of the times and you you know don't really want to do that what kind of conversations do you have at this point in the year with him and Joe and everybody uh I mean I've been here seven years they understand kind of what they're dealing with um I don't like to sit out and you know I understand if if I was injured or whatever um but I said it before I just love to play play the game especially on the road so many fans out there uh, with Tatum zero jerseys or came to see me play. Uh, So I kind of take pride in uh, making sure I'm available as much as I can. For you, you typically come out early in the first quarter. A couple times over the last couple weeks, you played that full first quarter, including tonight. Uh, How do you, I know Joe said you and him kind of communicate about that. How does that impact you or, you know, just what's it like being able to get that full rhythm in the first rather than your normal rotation? And what do you think is going to work best for you, you know, come playoff time in that sense? I think it's just a, it's a feel thing. Um, Obviously, if I'm in a great rhythm, you know, I understand Joe will probably lead me in. And I think, you know, when we have certain guys out, right, JB normally plays the whole first. And when he's, you know, if I'm playing, he's not. Um, you know, I understand I'm probably going to play the, that rotation. Uh, but, you know, most of my career, I, I've always came out kind of first and went back in with the second unit. So um, just what I was used to. Speaking of the fans tonight, um, what was it like to play in an away game that was pretty much all green? Uh, it was great. Um, become the, the norm a lot of places we go and uh, you just you really appreciate the the fans right how well we travel um, with our fan base and the, the love and support that they show us uh, everywhere we go Jason playing without three starters number one how what is your mindset going into those games knowing like you said that there won't be JB's not there KP's not there I think more so for the other guys getting the opportunity um to step up and, and play big minutes. And, uh, you know, that's why we have that stay ready group, right, for, for days like this um, where we can just plug in, plug in certain guys in certain positions and moments. And um, the expectation is that we don't skip a beat, we don't miss a step. Uh, so I think for those guys that's coming off the bench that implementing a starting lineup or playing more minutes when guys are out, uh, I think, you know, they're. They're always ready, and you know they work. They work really hard at it, um, and, it and it shows uh, when it's just seamless, right? When when whenever guys are out, we don't really miss a beat. And you've talked about it. You guys have learned from the past, but I think the way Al phrased it, you were on an edge from the beginning tonight. In other instances, you may have looked past the Wizards. What kind of mentality do you guys have, and, and why is that different this year? Uh, understanding what we're trying to do really just trying to get better every single day um, and respecting the game and respecting the opponent by going out there and playing the right way, whether it's a banged up team who hasn't had a great season or it's a national TV game, you know, trying to go out there with the same mentality every single night. Jason, I'm not sure how familiar you were with Justin Champagny, but he made his first NBA start tonight and he got the assignment to guard you. So I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on the matchup and what he brought to the game. Yeah, uh, obviously he was with us for a lot of portion of the year last season. So uh, obviously happy for him. You know, he's bounced around a little bit, but that's an accomplishment, right? To something you can be proud of. Obviously how hard he's worked to get to this moment to uh, start in an NBA game. Not a lot of people can say that. So uh, I was happy for him. Last question to Adam. Jason, you obviously been on some really good teams here, but none of them have been positioned like this to kind of dictate your terms over the last three weeks of a season. Um, what do you want to kind of extract from 
these games and kind of gain down the stretch heading into the playoffs? Like, what, what do you hope in a few weeks to look up and be like, this is useful from this stretch for us? Um, I think just seeing how different lineups work well with each other. Obviously, like tonight, we didn't have three guys. And uh, whatever the case may be throughout the rest of the season, uh, I think it's an opportunity of, for us to try some things, try some different lineups, um, different rotations, uh, and see you know what we may can do in the playoffs. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.